This is Steve, that's her. Yeah, I'm her. <laughs> RV to cycle. <laughs> I'm comfy. I've been driving all day. <laughs> yeah, all day. Started at 11. There and, you go. And finished at 2. That's all day. With you, that's, one of, that's a lifetime. <laughs> that's one of the shortest trips we've ever made. <laughs> Actually, I think I back the shortest trip we ever made was, was, when, was, was when we got the fifth wheel. <laughs> we went from the Lazy Days campground Walked over, to, walked over to the fifth wheel and spent the night in it. There you go. Or did we drive? Doesn't matter. Don't yeah. remember. Anyway, yeah, we drove. Yeah, but it was just made around it, the corner. Yeah, we made it a little longer trip though. Okay. <laughs> so if you've been watching this channel, you know that we just finished up a six day, seven day jaunt from and three legs <laughs> from yeah it did from from our home base in central florida down to the southern part of the state looking for that warmer weather <laughs> and we found some warmer weather but there was other stuff that's, it wasn't that warm <laughs> there was other stuff attached to it the wind oh my gosh it was uh Awful. extremely windy when we got to key west uh, as you probably know if you watch that particular video, that one's called Leg 3. Um, leg 3 or 3 legs? Leg 3. Leg. three. L-E-G to the third power. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got three okay. legs. <laughs> Too fast. So... We were sitting and we talked about uh, lessons learned, and that was one of those times where I had the camera on photograph rather than video. Speaking of, okay, <laughs> I had it on photograph rather than video, so we lost all of our lessons learned. So, this <laughs> checked my shirts on video. And So, so yeah, we I actually, haven't learned that one well. Are you no, I, I, no, I messed that up again two or three days ago. Um, I'd say one of the first things that we agreed was that the way we did it, our, our counting of two days at each location was not the right way to do it. We counted our day of arrival as day one. Then we had a full day, day two, and then we departed. So... From from now on, if we do a two day here, two day there, two day, two day everywhere, it'll be arrive, then one full day the next day, then one full day after that, and then we would leave. So four days with two days camped and two travel days. Don't you love the visuals? Hey, it works for me. You're the one that says you're a visual person. You need you you need that kind of That's right, I need to see things. <laughs> need that kind of leading by the hand. Um We also learned that if you want to go cycling down the shark tram and and I'll get the name right and I'll put it in the description here. But it's the the tram trail on the north side of Everglades National Park. A lot of people ride their bikes on that. It's, uh, I don't know, 10, 17 miles, something like that. And you see a lot of gators on that one. I wouldn't know we weren't there. We weren't there. <laughs> and we weren't there because when we were looking for a camp, a place to camp, there was nothing listed as, as being available there in terms of a campground. No campgrounds were listed. But there are some campgrounds there, and they are um, operated by the National Park Service rather than by a concessionaire. The campground in which we stayed was operated by a concessionaire. 
What's the concessionaire? Somebody that contracts with the National Park Service to Manage. run 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 mm -hmm. the campground. Um and we were satisfied with that campground. I mean it was it was really it was nice. nice yeah. If you go all the way to the southern end of the Everglades National Park, that campground down there, which uh, the name is escaping me right now, it has Flamingo? Flamingo, yeah. It has full hookups. Yeah. But we didn't stay there because we knew there were some trails right where we were staying at the, I'm going to get this wrong again, Long Pine, <laughs> Lone Pine or Long Pine Key Campground, whatever it is. Anyway, uh, but as if you watched the video, you know we didn't ride because I fell and hurt myself and still am uh, nursing my back. So, you said there was a lesson there? You're not allowed to go by places by yourself. <laughs> not allowed to go places by myself. I think the greatest number of lessons we learned were may, may have been when we visited Key West. If you have anything that's over 20 feet long, don't take it to Key West because all you're going to get to do is drive it around. You're not going to find a place to park unless you know someone there. Um, or you can stay on the, the military base. Yeah, if you they have a campground on the military yeah, base. The, yep, there is a military base with campground. Is that's true. Coast Guard and NAS or just one base? Um, I don't remember, dear. Anyway. Well, the Coast Guard is a division of the Navy, so. Mm -hmm. la vie. Anyway. I know, um, I know the Coast Guard was there, but I don't know if it was... Uh, in, in a, not NSA, NAS. NAS, Naval yeah. Naval Air Naval Station. Station. So. so what else did we learn? We learned... There was another campground on Key West because we talked about going to that. If, if it's, we... actually, it's actually not on Key West, I don't think. I think it's the next key to the north. But it was, what, five, six miles? So we could yeah, have it's... much more easily have ridden our bicycles. So that's yeah, that's gotta... on our list. Probably make it two years in advance. That's quite possible. <laughs> um, don't go on a holiday. Yeah. I don't care what time of year it is, don't go on a holiday. But maybe 4th of July might not be too horrible. I bet it will be. Because it'll be hotter and It doesn't matter. And, Kids will be out of school. be hotter and hot. Um, we also learned there is bus service yeah. from various locations on US-1 starting as far north as... Key Largo, so you can hop on a bus and get down to Key West, so you don't have to worry about parking. Uh, wish we'd have figured that one out a lot sooner because there was a bus stop <laughs> right at the entrance the to the campground. Um, when I say right at the entrance, it, okay, we missed it because it was like 20 feet away yeah. from the entrance over to the side. Well, we would have. We would only. Only reason we found it is because we had walked across the street to the restaurant. And when we came back from the restaurant, there was a bike box, and that caught our attention, was the bike box. That's true. And we couldn't figure out why there was a bike box. Why, why would you lock your bike up on the side of the road? That didn't make any sense. There was a bus stop sign next to it. There was. <laughs> now, the other thing about that bike box... It was so short. About the only bicycle you're going to get in there is a little kid's, kid's bike. Kid's bike, yeah. Unless you completely disassemble, you know, take disassemble your bike, take the handlebars off, take. take yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking back on it, we were standing there. It was probably about chest high from. I don't think it was that high. Maybe. I'll, I'll have. It, a, it was uh, higher than. It was hips. short. It was. We short, both agreed yeah. you couldn't get an adult bicycle not, in not there. Not the ones we ride. Yeah. Um. But the buses do have racks on their front yeah. so you can carry a bike with you. And yeah. so that's what we would do next time if we couldn't get any closer than we were this time. Um, but, and and, and but, the 19 miles, that's on me because I wasn't expecting the wind to be bad, number one. Number two, I wasn't expecting to fall hard. and mess up my side and back. But Not to mention but my hands. But the time that we test rode from the park, RV park to Key West, was probably the worst time of day. 
and the fact that it was a holiday so that was why all the traffic was there because it was like three o'clock in the afternoon so that meant school was getting out and the school was right up the road just north of no south south, south of the rv park so we were dealing with traffic go, coming and going because the next day when we drove to key west there were a lot of people on their bicycles riding that road yeah and there wasn't nearly as much traffic and it was earlier in the day and it was earlier in the day yeah. so it yeah. was not unfeasible that word <laughs> yeah, you just made it one i <laughs> it's a feasible drop ride the, the 19 miles and then well it, it depends if yeah, you're you know if you're if you're not used to riding on the side of the highway well, yeah. then it's probably not going to be your cup of tea and if you watched our leg three video you see that it's it's a narrow bike lane at those times when you have to be on us1 yeah. um, there's no other designated bike lane in in many places those last uh, I forget how many miles um, but we're we're uh, used yeah. to that we're used to, to yeah. riding in traffic now that Greyhound bus could did come a little close yeah that Greyhound bus was a little bit close yeah um, that made me nervous but I was nervous because so of lesson, you. so lesson learned take the bus <laughs> rather than rather than get brushed by the bus yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. what else did we say was important well, like I said Avoid the holiday. Go, yeah, go early. Go early. Allow yourself time to uh, see all the sights. It's, uh, I mean, you could you could quite easily spend a couple of days there. Yeah. Um, other places you might check out in terms of parking, if you wanted to take your smaller RV, we talked about churches we saw yeah, a number of church yeah, parking lots, church parking lots yeah. and and actually got on the phone and called those churches but all we got was a recording again it was again, christmas yeah so yep, we weren't gonna get it was so. just before christmas we weren't gonna get, yeah. so we weren't going to get anyone they were um, busy but if you get on google you know and look for church uh your denomination or one that you just think might be friendly to you if you're not a regular church you want to make a donation yeah, you can make a donation. That's another way. Uh, there was a Home Depot there, and I know that on uh, yeah, but many were, Home Depot parking lots and Lowe's parking lots, they'll allow you to park overnight. Yeah, but these guys not there. These, uh, these guys, uh, just, they they don't. Just, and yeah. and it's it's a pretty tight parking lot. Although the Key West would smarten up. Maybe they have. I don't know because. What was a Sears that went out of business, and they had a huge parking lot. They yeah. could turn that into parking. Well, and if 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 the city does it, they'll yeah. charge for it. Well, sure. I, and then they'll impose all of their regulations, yeah. which is which twenty they need to specify twenty feet. You got to be within yeah. the lines. Uh, it, it's it's pretty strict. Now, the plus side to that, if you happen to get a a ticket, a parking ticket, almost all of them are only fifty dollars. The downside is when you pay for parking, you see the sign and it says this can happen, this can happen, this can happen. And two of those this can happens are be towed and or booted. have your vehicle booted. And they don't tell you which one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you which one it'll be. And I didn't want to find out. <laughs> no. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, another place you might consider parking some of the hotels have parking for oversized vehicles and I tried to uh, use that option but I didn't make the call early enough and by the time we got a call back from the one particular hotel it was a hotel that I frequented a lot back in my working career they didn't call us back until I mean we had already gotten back to our campsite had lunch and we're winding down and i got a call back you know like, and, i'm not going back <laughs> yeah um and i think it was it was only it was like 40 bucks i think it's what they wanted to, to park charge for the day yeah, yeah to park for the day for an oversized vehicle and in our van you know we're only 21 feet long However, we did have the bikes with us, so that adds That's another three, three feet, feet, so yeah. it really makes us like 24. 
and then of course we have the the elevation um, and most uh, not most there are a number of city-owned parking locations that are structured so you know you have level one level two level three and there are height limits yeah. now the one city parking place that we found where we actually parked and decided yeah we're not we decided we're not comfortable um because well, they don't tell was, you what an oversized vehicle is it it was it was just a parking lot no structure um but they still had you know all, all the other requirements in terms of fitting into space even though we backed up far enough that the bicycles were in the bushes <laughs> of a house that was next door and, and, and fit but yes yeah. yeah, it's, but it's neighbor, what that, that person could have complained yeah it and, wasn't, you know, worth it wasn't, it wasn't worth a chance wasn't worth a chance so. um do you remember what else nope i know there's I'm some other lessons <laughs> let's think about it and we'll come back to you <laughs> well that's really it that's what we had on our list there may be some other things that we can't remember i did have some jotted down but we covered everything that i had jotted down beforehand so um if you have any questions you know what to do put them in the comment section and if you got anything out of this video thumbs up otherwise you know as our son says let your conscience be your guide <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching we do appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you sometime. Bye-bye.